everybody, welcome to another Let's Play. I am Bones. Um, today, we are doing Cattails, a game we have been very excited to do. Um, as I've said, we like to do a lot of games that aren't done by big companies. This is a husband and wife team, as far as I understand, uh, who have made this great game. Uh, I've always been a big fan of animals, uh, we've done some stuff for charities in the past, I've done some free work for animal shelters, um, if you have extra blankets, I donate them to the homeless, to animal shelters, um, and we have a cat here, uh, in our studio, which, so far none of you have successfully guessed his name, so... But I will review it if you keep watching this Let's Play, so let's get started, shall we? We have uh, an empty slot. Now we did try, we played a little bit of this, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, because I never do, during my Let's Plays. I'm gonna call him Mischief. I think it's a good cat name, eh? Um, you know, jet black eyes. Red like the devil, but we're just gonna go with a pretty blue. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with this. Um, I don't want to make him exactly like my cat, because that'd be kind of weird. Um, so let's hit OK. And then we begin with the story of mischief. Cute little cat here. And I don't know if this is hand-drawn or if somebody just is great with graphic art skills, but either way, this is a cute little introduction. Um, I should say, uh, don't let this cuteness surprise you, though. This game is, uh, quite rich in RPG elements. This is a fully-fledged RPG. This is not some... You know, I, I misunderestimated Slime Rancher guys back in the day. This is one that you could easily pass over thinking, oh, it's just a cutesy cat game, I won't be into that. If you like RPG games, uh, you're gonna like this game, and I'll show you why here. Um, oh no! So the daughter and the cat got in trouble, the mom was like, the cat's gotta go. Look at how mad they made her face. And there's your poor cat. So many cats are actually dumped off like this that, uh, I would plead with you all, if you know anybody who is doing this to a cat, just dumping it off. Guys, don't do that. Um, go and get a proper uh, foster home for the cat, if you know somebody who doesn't want a cat. Um, ask around and get the cat another home before you just dump it off on the side of the room. Domesticated cats are not great out in the wild. This one is young enough and has a mentor, Coco, as you see. Uh, movement is easy and smooth with Wazda, and E is to talk, which is nice. It is a good name for me. Now I'm speeding through these a little bit because uh, I want to show you all something here. Now that see this green, whenever uh, a cat talks to you about a plant, as far as I've seen, maybe I'm wrong, but as far as I've seen, uh, you will get a green prompt, but it's a skill-related conversation, you'll get a blue prompt. And I'll show you what I mean here. So we're gonna open, and you can hold things in your mouth. And here's what I like, you see, Mitchell Victory has this in his mouth. So, uh, kudos to the devs, because I know some big games, big RPG games that I shall not name, because I don't need to get some AAA companies mad, but... Uh, they could learn a little tip from this, uh, this team here. Uh, that it is cool to see what's in your hand, or in this case your cat's mouth, when you hold it. I think that's a nice touch. So now Coco is running me through some things here. Um, you can eat some berries and licorice fruit. What it comes down to, guys, is this. We're gonna hunt for a mouse, now see what I mean? Blue words. Skill-related stuff, guys. I dig that, too, because it's a great way uh, to keep uh, all your little ducks in a row, to use a metaphor, all your information nice and easy. Missed that one. 
Count! Got it. Not my first try, but my, uh, my second try. Nicely done, I'm a natural hunter. Trying, baby. Trying. Now you have passing skills. You're passing. Passive skills. On uh, the skill panel. And you'll notice the skill panel there registered as red. This is my hungry... Hungriness. My hunger. And there's a health. So you have those two to really keep an eye on. Uh, now this is a Coco specialty skill called Sprint. Now again, this skills in blue. Uh, now this is like a hot bar in most MMOs, and I dig that they went that far with this. I'll tell you that stuff. Uh, okay. You'll learn experience by hunting, fighting, forging, even by sleeping. You can only equip a new skill when inside your den. That's for active skills. You can only uh, upgrade them in your den. You also have passive skills that you're hunting, fighting, forging, and swimming. Um, so basically, you get to juggle your active skills. Now he's gonna show us how to do a little rock, rock 'em, sock 'em robot because cats in the wild have territory disputes. So here we go. No, Coco. Oh, see? There's a little back and forth, a little movement. You can sit still, but I tried to move a little. I whapped him in the tail that last time. That's probably a cheap shot, but oh well. Um, every day a few battles will begin along the borders of the colonies. If you participate, you can help the colony gain influence over an area. Seeking of colonies, surely you want to join one. Now, I'm not going to lie to you all. Uh, we played it up until this, so we're going to the forest colony. It's the one we played it to. We had a technical difficulty last time I recorded this. Um, but normally, you would get an achievement when you first, a Steam achievement, would pop up here for joining a clan. A colony, I should say, not a clan. I'm thinking of the book series Warriors, which yours truly did read growing up. I read everything I could, man. I read the sides of boxes in the morning before school. I'm not kidding you. Any of y'all do that? And you read the cereal box? Um, first of all, you get a nice big den here, I think. As a starter home in a game. This is bigger than a lot of games, you know. Um, and one thing I'll tell you all is you can actually dump stuff off in here, so... Say I catch a bunch of stuff and I don't have room in my inventory, or like I just want to hoard food, you can put it in there. This is Mayor. I was told these stars are for popularity. I'm not that popular yet, so... Ember and Duck. Two people I need to know. Alright. And the tenth of every season. And up here it's a second. You can click on this map here and see. You go there. This is an unconquerable area. And actually, let me show you guys this. See this one here? It says this is a locked area. This is to stop you from becoming the cat version of Mussolini. In this case, Meow Salini. I know it's a horrible joke, guys. Forgive me. Um, but the idea is that... You can actually, all the neutral spaces, you can fight over and get influence on. So we're going to meet the other people in our colony. Doc is very pleasant. The Sarge. Sarge looks like he's a little seasoned, a little older. Um, and I do like that the devs did this too with the faces. I think it's pretty cool. Um, there's Missy. Missy's a friggin' prima donna. Look at this. I don't know... I, you don't know me, and I don't know you, so let's get one thing straight. I'm Missy, and I'm the most important cat in the forest. Got it? I'm waiting to be here wasting my time. Missy, I am glad to leave you, because you are a prima donna and other not nice words. Uh, and a scout I like here, they made him look more like a kitten, younger. So he's uh, a little more energetic, as you can see, a little more chirper, a little friendlier. I have a feeling me and scout are going to be homies, we're going to be buddies, we're going to get along great. Uh, here is Ember, the shopkeep. Ember <laughs> does not look... Ember looks just, like, resigned. You know, like, yep. 
And then she does a surprise smile here, so I don't know if Ember's just got, like, resting, uh, female cat face or, or what that is. Some of you will catch that joke, some of you will not, but... Uh, so yeah, Ember does not look the most abused. Now we're gonna, since I've met everybody, come in here and save it. I feel like I just kinda got the preliminaries out of the way. Um, so let's take a look here. We got some skill points. Fighting, hunting, swimming, foraging. Let's look at some active skills here. Diplomacy. Obviously that one's one I'm gonna want to take a look at. Summon allies seems valuable, but that's a big cooldown time. Um, deep cuts. That's another one here. Wild Slash. This is a single attack. I would rather have this one. It is what you would call an AoE attack, or an area of effect attack um, in RPG games. And I think it's cool that they have really put the heart of RPG games in here. But these three here are interesting skills, guys, because you have Study Prey, um, so you can see what they see, kind of. You can see their patterns. Um, for those harder to pounce on animals, return home, work to the temple. The temple, I get the feeling, is going to be a very important thing. Uh, I want to show you guys one other thing real quick here that I thought was cool. You can change your cat color. Say you started, and you're like, eh, I don't really like that color for my cat anymore. We can change it just like that, and boom. You know, so you can change the color of your cat. Um, and there are promo codes, and if you put them in, almost like little secret passwords that the, the devs gave out for different times, uh, if I remember here, and if you put them in, you will get uh, new and rare cat colors. Um, I'm guessing if you join the forums on their Twitter, you will find more promo codes. Um, I know some have been leaked out. I don't want to put any in because I uh, have not vetted that with the devs. I don't know if that's okay to put in. Oh god, he's going to see what I did. And we'll go ahead and see us for the combat. So let's open my map. There's a fight here. Uh, see, now, look, you can see here, this is a contested area, so that diplomacy skill would bump that up. Um, I wonder what the colored bar meant earlier, but I think I know now. If you go to different lands, for example, and you do not own... I can't say own, but if you don't, like, your group does not have the... Um, if it's contested, for lack of a better word, I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna have no coffee today. Um, I will say that I've noticed, no crow, come back, I want to hug you with my mouth, it's a fight. So we need to protect our territory here, don't we guys? I think that's a very cat thing to do. Let's go around a little while, I'm really digging the colors, the bright, uh, Right, ambience. Can I kill an animal I corner? I can! You can actually kill an animal you corner, guys. Now, what did I grab here? Lavender. You can use its strong scent to gain power for a colony in an area. Good. Right, so say, like, there's an area that's, like, uh, you know, that one we looked at earlier that was, like, 50-50 there, guys. So we can use lavender. Like, see here we have this one called fairy wood, which, uh, there are too many good jokes, frankly. Um, so I'm not going to be goofy about that. Valerian, you're done. And here is some more golden seal. So we are making a killing in the picking stuff up front. Let's grab all this, why not? And if you notice, it turned noon and got just, you know, not much, but a tiny bit darker outside. So uh, I like that. First, because we're about to go into a fight, we're going to up our fighting. Eventually, I'm probably going to want to save these up to hit the 100 uh, area and go in and start really raking in those acting skills. But right now, I feel like just, you know, a, a little simple nudge in my skill department is probably good. Um, so what does this do? Valerian. Energizes and big red cat. So when we land there, we're going to drop this and then do some cat... Holy cow. 
Now I froze it there because I want you all to notice on these cats, those are different colored uh, shields that are not like our shields. So I think that's what that is, is those are from a different clan and that tells me what clan they're from. And oh god! They're all, oh, my cats have lost. My cats have lost. I am not going to take on this money alone. I'll, I'll take it, I'll try to take out one for my, for my homies. For my meowies. For my, for my fellow cats. I did it. I can't handle all of them alone. I need to get much better. Don't you worry, suckers. I'm going to come back eventually and be like Conan, the cat vibrarian. Give me trash talking them now that I'm all the way over there. Um, so a few small things here. I really dig the work that these devs have put into this game. There's a lot to explore and see. This is a decent sized map. Um, especially if you're always having these little skirmishes where power can change hands. Or pause in this case, guys. Um, you'll even notice I'm wearing my, my cat face mask today instead of the normal bones mask for Let's Play. Because we've been that excited, legitimately that excited to play this. I cannot tell you. Uh, we probably drove them nuts. So I do apologize to the devs. We dropped a few messages. Um, probably too many. So, sorry guys. Um, we're just super excited to play your game. Um... I mean, I'm not gonna lie. You told me I can play a cat in anything, and I'm as good as there. Um, some of you remember the last Let's Play of a game where I was a cat, and I went ballistic. Um, so yeah, the, I, I... Because I'm, you know, I'm a big cat person. Um, I've had the cat here that you hear. It's a big tree, eh? Uh, can I walk... Oh, oh what'd I do? What'd I do? What is that? Power call. Yes! I found a power up of some sort that makes my cat fantastic. I feel like uh, now I. Yeah, see, now look. Because I lost it with Fairywood, we have lost ground over there. Dude, I, I think I'm crazy, but I think I might run back up there and give them another slap and see what I can get done on this. And, uh,. There's a lane! I don't know a lane. But it's another cat entirely. I guess you could say, guys, she's a cat of a... Are you ready? Are you ready? She's a cat of a different color. But, um... Horrible, I know. Um... Now, as you can see, it's getting much darker now. We're gonna go back up there and at least smack one of these other cats. I feel like I gotta represent my people. And those cats just whooped us, man. That was that was sad. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, no, I don't have enough. I was hoping I had a little bit with her, but I do not. So here's what we're gonna do in a sneaky way. Oh God, I don't feel great about this. We're gonna use this and claim it all for ourselves again, and then we're gonna try and take out at least one of these other ones. If I can take out one. No, I cannot. Help! Alright, wait, wait, wait. We got that skill, we got that skill. Okay, screw it. Vroom! Alright. I still claimed it for my people. Still claimed it for my people, guys. Victory. Victory is ours. Uh, kind of. What I'm hoping that means now is uh, that more cats will patrol that area. I don't know, but it looks like they patrol the ones we own. Doc, I'm hurt. What can you do for me there? I need healing. Oh, I can't afford any of it. So, money is called Muse in this, which is uh, slightly adorable. And kind of comical, you know, both. Um, we're gonna save our game here, guys. And uh, while we're at it, we're going to. Uh, Let's drop the butterflies. I don't really know if I need them. Like I said, I don't know if I can uh, gift these to other cats. I don't know if any cats would want them or not. And I'm sleeping early in this, because uh, I know sleeping gains a little health from what I understand. 
I'm gonna see that bumped it up nicely. Um, and it gave me a little bit of that, so these are the first two I want to bump up. Um, I feel like I could really do with a two in hunting and then start with or a two in fighting and then start with a one in hunting, but at the same time, this is crummy looking weather, this is some fog. Now do the oh god, they do. Okay, so that one both these are just bad areas. Uh, to be in for this, apparently, so we want to make sure we're representing our clan good, I think. Which clearly I am not right now. Um, now, uh, some things about this game. Uh, I dig the hunting mechanic because it's simple. It's, it's, uh, both more complex than you would think because I can tell as I level up, um, more things are going to happen with that. I don't know what things, but I'd assume that they have worked that in. This is clearly a carefully thought out game. Um, and that's pretty obvious, I mean, it's, it's... This is a big labor of love, you can tell, guys. Um, which I really dig about the game. Yes, I got a fish! I got a fish, yo! Cats love fish, so we're going to eat that right away. My cat will attest to that. Oh, and I did promise, didn't I, guys? Uh, so the name of our cat, um, so far the most popular Gus was Salamander, which is pretty, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that's a cute one for an orange cat, an orange tabby, but that is incorrect. Uh, somebody else said his name was Puggy. His name is not Puggy. Um, his name is actually... And that was actually just Steam, Steam messages from people there, so... Not even the comments, um, guys. But his official name, so you know, is Pumpkin. Uh, he is a 15-year-old tabby, we have had him a long time, and he is quite a tough cat. Uh, he is a mouser, successfully. He, uh, uh, real cat story now. We had went out and had a, uh, a house, and the owner did not tell us there were mice living there, so we had no friggin' clue until one day my cat... Oh no, what happened? Oh, I've been defeated. Am I dead? Death says, don't give up now, there's still hope. I will be revived by the doctor. I summon all my willpower and wake up once more. So that's kind of cool. You get a chance to, like... Alright, looks like I may have dropped a thing or two when I got knocked out. Oh yeah, alright. Well, I mean, let's be honest, there has to be a trade-off. You know, you, you die, you get revived, all that stuff. You're gonna leave some of this stuff there, so... Um, I really can't complain. Um, so yeah, we're gonna call it here with this game. This is uh, Cat Tales. It is a fun game. Um, I would highly recommend that you all go out and get this. There's been a lot of loving work done. Again, you take a look at this. Uh, I mean, guys, this game is just fun, man. And on top of it, it's a good, solid RPG, whether you like cats, or just like games that are different, or you just like RPGs. This will please you in any which way when it comes down to any one of those three genres that you like. Or, if you're just bored with FPS games, and I get bored with FPS games, I grew up with Doom, Wolfenstein, like the originals, guys. Um, and I gotta say, I've been having a blast with this game, so I'm glad we finally got to review it. I am Bones, make sure to like, subscribe, uh, drop your comments below. Thank you guys so much, we have much more coming up for you guys this week, including an exclusive uh, peek at a game that's in demo mode, not even out yet. So look for that too. So alright, thank you guys very much, make sure Click the link below to get yourself a copy of Cattails like we did. Support the devs, please, and uh, enjoy. Have a good day.